A Somali refugee living in San Diego talks to 10 News about today's travel ban ruling. Very sorry for what happened and continue being disappointed. He describes how that decision will affect his family and thousands of others. And a mother vacationing in San Diego crashes her scooter and ends up in the hospital. It was uh, heart-wrenching to know that it was preventable and they didn't do it. The safety changes her family is demanding the city now make. Plus, a woman blames Ambien after throwing rocks at her neighbor. Ten News looking into the potentially dangerous side effects of the sleeping pill. But we begin with new reaction tonight to the Supreme Court's decision to uphold President Trump's travel ban. And while he says the ruling will help stop terrorism, not everybody is happy. Our Ten News reporter Steve Fiorina joins us live downtown where a protest is expected to begin in a little bit over an hour now, Stephen. And you talked to some who've resettled here. They are disturbed with this ruling. There have been protests across the country and there is one scheduled right here in San Diego tonight. Uh, people impacted by the Trump travel ban upheld by the Supreme Court. Refugees who came from the banned country say they're grateful to be here, but also feel the ban is wrong. Note the word victims. I was one of the victims of the, the first travel ban. Hassan Omar told us he emigrated from war-torn Somalia, one of the five countries of Muslim majority included in the travel ban. He's worried about family members left behind some in refugee camps. My brother is still in the camp. The first travel ban affected him, the second one affected him. And I'm very disappointed that I'm hearing today the high court supported the president's opinion. Omar has been in San Diego a little over a year, working as a teacher's aide and translator. He wants a better life too for his brother and sister and their families. He worries about their future, the uncertainty of if or when they might move on. We are trying to make survival here, to educate our kids, to, to build a good life. We never came here to disturb anyone. We just came because of problems. So, so we need still support for our people who are behind in the camp. They're already setting up down here. Demonstrators expected to be in full force at about 7.30 this evening. We will be here as well. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina. Steve, thank you. Congress appears